Hey dudes and girls, here in the gym with Lewis. Oh yeah, we're ready. It's phase four, day three, leg day. Everyone's favorite, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this guy's warm up's done. Did some mobility, did some goblet squats, did some scorpions, did some frogs. If you have the program, if you're following along, uh, if you've seen the mobility stuff, you'll kind of know what we do, especially for lower body. That's what today is. So Lewis is done with that. He's ready to jump on some searcher squats for first exercise. And that one is gonna be right here, it's all set up. Lewis is pretty familiar with this one. He kind of knows what he's doing, but we're gonna go over some form real quick. And uh, as you can tell, it's right in the crook of arm here. Uh, got a little padding, which is nice. He's got a pretty wide stance because when he squats down, his arms are coming between his legs. The knees are following the toes. The toes are slightly pointed out. He's keeping a pretty vertical torso. It's much like a front squat in the sense where it's front loaded. So it's gonna be a lot of activation in the quads, glutes, more vertical torso in that sense as well. Uh, it's pretty comfortable for the spine because it's more vertical, but it's uncomfortable because you're holding the weight with your arms. There's going to be a lot of upper back activation, the biceps in isometric hold to hold that weight, and uh, let's bust them out. And here I'm talking and Lewis is <laughs> it's doing all the work. Good job, man. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah. How that? It's just, yeah, it's, helps a lot. It does. Yeah. So if you're, if you're ever I wondering, it does, uh, yeah. Gotta go with that padding. Gotta go with padding. I agree. Wise words, Lewis. I'm gonna let Lewis take over for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't keep it. He doesn't quite want to, to pass the torch yet, but yeah. uh, I, I like how you're supporting your Space Jam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back to Space Jam. The, the classics. Back to the classics. Where's Where's the shirt that we gave you? It's in the house. Can't wear it every day. <laughs> well, we <laughs> can. That's the whole point. You gotta advertise for I'll us, Lewis. You're gonna be a walking buff dude advertisement. I know. Not only your physique, but what you wear as well. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> rest time. We'll give him some rest. We'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll cut and <laughs> let Lewis uh, have his time. He's wide. There we go. Good. Yeah. Hug that barbell. Yep. yep. How's the food? Good. We're gonna go over all the same questions that we do every single day. How's the food? <laughs> good. Food's good. Yep, eating a lot. Eating a lot. Nice. Good answer. Still kind of steady and out. Well, it's kind of annoying. What's what's that? You're still, still like 160, like I mean like 174. Oh, you're plateauing, plateauing a little bit. <laughs> now this is a this is a common occurrence. Is uh, you'll end up plateauing somewhere along the lines, or there's a chance of plateauing. So that's when you have to make sure you're tracking not only your weights but your food as well. Food's most important thing, of course, is gonna be trying to always be in the surplus. In Lewis's case, we're trying to keep him in the 500 calorie surplus every day, but as you gain weight, you're gonna require more food to be in the surplus. So that's when we're you know, slowly trying to incrementally increase uh, each meal or even add another meal if possible. It's pretty easy. So like in the breakfast, instead of having you know, th just three eggs, you bump it up to four eggs and maybe an extra piece of toast or somewhere in lunch, you know, you just do an extra serving of rice, something like that. So it's just, it can be pretty simple, but at the same time you're eating more. So it feels like a lot more work, you know, you eat a lot more. So that's what we're gonna be doing with Lewis. Still got a food video on the way. Uh, just kind of taking through his daily routine and we're gonna crash his high school and embarrass him in front of all yeah. his friends and uh, shove the camera in his face like we normally do and have him give a speech in front of all the people too, the motivational speech. Does that yeah. scare you at all? No, I'm ready for it. Oh shit, these are, oh right, hell yeah, ready. Moving on to the next exercise, um, which is a little bit of an awkward exercise for yeah. Lewis. There's a few in this program, which is usually the case. Any kind of new exercise or one that requires hip movement can be a little awkward, especially for a guy. Women get it down pretty, so I mean, this is in, in my experience as a trainer that women can move their hips a lot easier than men. Men kind of tend to keep their hips tucked in a little bit and not really have familiar with that movement so much. But in this case, kettlebell swings, it's much like the glute bridge where it's working on hip extension. Um, but this is also working on hip flexion as well. So it's all in the hips. Okay. Chubbs Peterson. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if he gets that reference. I know. <laughs> That's fine. It's cool. Some, some people do. Okay, so, so in this one, yep. 
You've got the stance exactly. We're using a dumbbell instead of a kettlebell because we don't have a kettlebell that's heavy enough. But the hips will start flexed, and then you're going to thrust the hips forward and create that momentum to carry that dumbbell up. When you bring it down, just catch it. Let it drop. Let it drop and catch it with your hips. Ready? Drop. There we go. Then grab you, take over the drop, but then thrust and create the momentum to bring that dumbbell up. There we go, reach your chin, let it fall down, and then thrust. We're gonna get it, Lewis, come on. We're gonna get, everyone's rooting for you. There we go. That neutral your chin, damn it. There we go. Okay, okay, good, take a break. A little, uh, things to go over real quick. You did good though, you did good. The form looked pretty good, Your the back was straight. I, something people make the mistake right away is they squat down when they do it, so it's like, they're squatting, which is the wrong thing. It should be all in the hips. There's gonna be a little bit bend in the knee, but that's fine. But what you wanna do is thrust forward and that action is gonna carry that dumbbell up. Okay. And then when you reach that top position, just let gravity take over. And it's, it's dangerous, it feels dangerous, but it's not gonna be. You're gonna let the dumbbell drop and you're catching it as it's dropping. You're catching it with your hips by flexing your hips. Okay. So it's getting right back in that same position, and then you're going to create that momentum once again and kind of carry it over. So it's almost kind of like a reciprocal movement in a sense where it's kind of a constant movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so good job. Stop playing with your hair. Everyone they hates can't. it. It's all wet. It's all wet. Wear a hat. Should have. There. Can't wear a hat in the gym, man. <laughs> can't wear a hat in the gym? Well, this, I can't yet. This ain't school. Too, you saw these rules. <laughs> Fuck the rules, yo. <laughs> Tell him, Lewis. I think I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yep. Catch it. Neutral chin. There we go. Don't even look in the mirror. Not bad. How'd it feel? Still a little awkward. Yep. I feel like I'm bending my knees still a lot, but. Not too bad, not too bad. You bend them just enough where, where you get in that proper position. You allow your back to keep straight and rigid, and then thrust it forward for the hip extension. It look good, yeah. Momentum could use a little work as far as the, the force and power you're creating. Uh, but other than that, good job. The um, kettlebell swings, it takes some time. Everyone, you know, there's, there's a lot to critique in everything, and we try to keep a, a stance where we say enough as we can, but other than that, a lot of times you'll, you have to figure it out on your own sometimes. You know, I mean, you can critique anyone until your face is blue, but, uh, but hey, you know, sometimes you just gotta feel it out, feel what's comfortable for you, and just do it until you get it right, and keep it certain things in mind, of course, but, um, but other than that, yeah. Loses nice. the man, what can yeah. I say? Kettlebell swings. Damn right. Crush master. Quarterbell walking lunges. Who's ready? He wanted it this way. I don't know why I wanted it. I'm right there. No, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to do walking lunges. Here we go. Let's see what you got. Eight steps one way. Eight steps back. Bring that knee down. There we go. Yep. Step forward. Yep. You can be a little uncomfortable. He's getting his balance. Keep those feet straight. Yep. Feet straight. Right in line. There we go, now you got it. Get those toes straight, what's happening? I see the inner, it's, it's coming. Now watch the... Get those feet out. There we go. Big step forward. Slowly squat down. See the toe. What's happening with this toe? I know, it never goes forward. There we go, there we go. That's it. That's it, now you got it. Sometimes you gotta work smarter, not harder. In this case, <laughs> Lewis worked a little bit harder than he was supposed to, but hey. So critiques, um, 
pretty awkward. It, it, it is awkward. The barbell, right away the barbell is going to raise your center of gravity. So if you're normally used to carrying some dumbbells while you're doing walking lunges, uh, this one's going to be quite a bit different because all of a sudden the center of gravity is now raised to the bar here. So it brings it up. You're going to require a lot more balance when you're doing the walking lunges. So it's going to be a lot more difficult, a lot more core work. So that's a lot of stability in the legs too, as you can tell when you're, when you're walking here. You feel like you have to really kind of, you know, try to stabilize yourself a lot more. Um, sometimes you can step slightly outward. So if you're in this position, you're trying to keep in line, it's going to feel weird because you're going to feel like you're going to tip over. So if you kind of step to the outside here and widen your stance, that, that can help. That was my problem. I kept into it. Exactly. So that's what will change on this one. So sometimes you do have to make the mistake first in a safe way, and, uh, and then you can build on top of that. So Lou's kind of figured out what his, um, you know, what didn't really work for him. So now we're going to change it up and to see what we can do better this time. But as Lou's can tell, it's kind of exhausting because yeah, you're exhausting. in a constant forward motion and uh, working the glutes, legs, core. What else are we working? I'd say your calves. Nice. Kid's a genius. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> you're going to be taking over the channel soon. I know. I'm going to be out of the job. Yeah, I'll think I'll pass. As soon as, as, soon as you can grow beard, then you can part. take the torch. Yeah. Which is never. I don't know if Lewis is into that idea. <laughs> no. In fact, Brandon was following him so closely because he was afraid he was just going to take that barbell and just walk straight out of the gym and never return. <laughs> yeah. Was that true? I thought about it. Would, you would tell me, though, if that was the case, yeah. wouldn't you? I'd tell you. You're not going to lie to me, are you, Lewis? No. Don't lie. We're friends, aren't we? Yeah, we're best buds. Yeah, that sounds convincing. <laughs> Lewis is ready. He's got the leg press, feet, mid, on the pad here, you can tell. Big thing right now is going to keep your knees out. I know you have sometimes, uh, you know, an issue with that, but like a lot of people do. But yeah, really try to concentrate exactly on keeping those knees out. Okay. There we go. Knees wide, knees wide. That's it. Good. Rest times are a little bit, a little uh, quicker. Yeah. 60 seconds, 90 seconds. So actually, I owe Lewis a big apology because this is the second time we're shooting phase yeah. four, day three. Because of me. Loss of footage. Exactly. God yeah. damn it. That was I, a good episode, too. That was, that was where me hits. and Lewis bonded. Yeah. yeah we actually, that's when we became friends, but now it's off camera and now we hate each other again yeah. because that footage was deleted and we got enough fight. I it's like a loose out. It was like a buddy cop comedy. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's a good episode. Yeah. We showed Lewis off too because he was in the paper. Buff team wins. Uh, what was it? Buff team wins something. I, don't know. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, really paying was attention good. but it was a good article though. <laughs> Got the leg curl set up. Lying leg curls. It's a very um, Simple exercise, I'll just say that. So simple is a key word in this one, or I guess a hint for Lewis. What type of exercise is this, Lewis? It's a uni. Damn it, damn it. Isolation. Oh, yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. It's like the bicep curl for the legs. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as cool though. Face is looking a little red. Yeah. That was a good sign. The last one got me. Hey, that, that was good though. That was a perfect weight. If your face ain't turning red, not going hard enough. Nice. Yeah. Cap raises. Yep. What's this one? It's isolation. I mean, nice. For, for what? The calves. Hell yeah. Man, I swear. So proud of you, Lewis. Yeah. You're getting so smart. I say. The buff brain is taught me a lot. Yeah. Who taught you? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm touched, Lewis. A little backstory. I know. We get. I, you can tell I give Lewis pretty hard time in the gym and, and kind of bust his balls a little bit. You know, maybe some people even think I hate Lewis, which is only <laughs> half right. 
<laughs> no, we're, only some days. Exactly, only some days. Yeah, he's being a dick. Not no. awake. <laughs> no, he's fine. Uh, story, story time, Lewis. How did we meet? When we were we young lads, and uh, my dad was doing a construction job on their house, and that's when we all met. Lewis yeah. was only what five years old or something. Probably was this when you guys <laughs> put in the hardwood? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it and was. They stapled that bear to the tree. Uh, exactly. <laughs> you guys thought that was like the yeah the coolest awesome thing, ever. thing in the world. But no, we've known Lewis for a long time. We've known him and his family. We've done videos with his brothers Jack and Andrew, and then his good friend uh, Ian. If you guys remember that video, <laughs> <laughs> no, some of you were, were missing Ian at first, but you know we forgot about Ian. Ian's Ian. We gotta bring him back. Yeah, that is true. We should bring yeah. back a reunion, an Ian reunion. Yeah, and, and then we'll see who can outlift each other. Yeah. Lewis versus Ian. <laughs> Hopefully yes. I win. Let's do it. You will. I got fucking. I got my money's on Lewis. Hell oh, yeah. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. He no, he's cool. He watches this episode. Oh shit. Sorry, Ian. You're cool. Easy workout. Better nabs. Better nabs, yeah. Better abs can, abs. can be a pain in the ass. Calves, cramping issues are pretty much gone. I know, it's just on that machine. Oh, the seated one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little rougher. This one's kind of nice because you're in standing position, so your hamstrings and, and glutes can kind of help stabilize you and work you through the motion. And the seated one is pretty much like just calves. I mean, in this one, you can kind of create a little bit, you know, do a little more weight. Better movement with other muscle groups, even though this is in isolation, but you can kind of get some bend in the knees, kind of help out if you need to. Uh, the seated calf raise machine, it's much like, let's say if you isolate your forearms, you do your finger curls, mm -hmm. I mean, you get such an extreme pump in your forearms because of that, because it's purely isolated in there. There's no really other help with any other muscle groups or joints. Um, so it's kind of similar with the seated calf raises there where you can put so much stress on that muscle and cramp really easily. Up. Yeah, but you've been doing good. Getting the stretches in, getting the mobility. No, my calves aren't as tight anymore. Nice, yeah. Baseball season's upon us, yeah. five games in. We won't tell you what he's won <laughs> yeah. or lost, but uh, <laughs> he's got a tournament today, so we don't want to wear him out too much. It's a damn good workout. Lewis kicked ass as normal. Yeah. And uh, me and Hudson, super proud of you, man. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. We are all buds. We all have fun yep. in here. We try to laugh. We try to make fun of each other. Lewis doesn't, he doesn't give shit though. I mean, we're <laughs> yeah. trying to get him out of him. One of these days he's going to give the shit back. And that'll be the day that he graduates. Yeah. That's phase six. Everything's happening. There, that is true. Phase six. Phase six, that'll be the graduation yeah. phase right there. Lewis yeah. is going to talk shit and the series will be over. <laughs> I know. That's it. He's going to be like, buff dudes are shit. <laughs> yeah. no, fuck you. Fuck these guys. <laughs> That will be a that'll yeah, be a right. beautiful day. That will be, and we're, we're actually we're going to be joining Lewis too on phase six. So we're all going to be working out together. So I mean, I think that'll help too. Yeah. Sometimes when it's weird when you're the only one working yeah, out, everyone's just, just kind of like, yeah, <laughs> yeah good nice. job, yeah, <laughs> nice squat for him, bro. <laughs> yeah, but uh, good job, Lewis. Hell yeah. Good luck on the tournament today. He's gonna get out. He's on spring break actually, so it's yeah. kind of nice. Gets a little bit more rest than normal, so you get more time to eat food. We should get that uh, nutrition video pretty soon. Hopefully, you guys will see that. Uh, coming up real quick. Yep. And uh, so, as always, or no, I should say this, stay buff. Always. God damn it, always lose. <laughs> always. Yeah. <laughs>